what is going on guys, um, it's Mr. Nut, back with another uh, tutorial video. Um, in this one with uh, the new TeamSpeak server, um, I've noticed that people are echoing a lot, um, as well as having high background noise. Um, while this can be frustrating for other users um, and such, um, I've decided to make a video to teach you guys how to stop the permanent background noise. Right. Once you've downloaded and installed TeamSpeak server and done all of the uh, steps in this video, uh, in this uh, post here, um, you go to settings, options, or alt p, and it will do the same. You will it will uh, come up with a screen like this: uh, application design, download, security, playback, capture, chat, whisper, hotkeys, messages, and notifications. You, uh, the one that you guys will need is capture. At this point, you'll see uh, capture mode automatically is best mode. Capture device default. Um, if you have a lot of background noise, um, select push to talk. Um, note you'll need to set a hotkey down here for it. Um, but for me, I'm all right, so I use uh, voice activation detection. Um, if you're going to do that, I suggest setting it to a volume Microphone which muted. you will be able to Microphone activated. That was weird. Um, that you'll be able to cope with and that others can hear you. Um, as well as being high enough up here, up there, for um, not picking up background noise. Um, as well as you'll need to check auto reduction, uh, echo reduction, so it'll stop echo and echo cancellation, check them both. Um, underneath the advanced options, um, you'll need to check uh, remove background noise, automatic uh, voice gain control, and uh, I don't feel need that. Um, with that, press apply, it'll apply it, press OK, and you'll then be a lot better in being able to not echo and make as much noise. Alright guys, um, I'll probably be making other tutorials soon, so stay tuned and have fun.